Hey, good evening and welcome to Airborne Transit. Uh, today I'm going to do a product review on an item that I purchased called the Sky Buddy. Uh, it is uh, manufactured by P2 Aviation Technologies uh, out of Eden Prairie, Minnesota. Uh, I tried to find an altitude reminder uh, so that I could dial in altitudes from the air traffic control clearance. I've, I'm used to doing it that way. That's uh, every airplane I've flown for the last 30 years has had some type of altitude reminder capability. Uh, most airplanes that I have flown, the autopilot will capture that altitude. Um, however, I flew a DC-9 and uh, a 727 that did not capture that the altitude selected on the altitude window and um, uh, that's a, but it still had the altitude reminder and that's essentially what I'm going to have in this 310. Um, the autopilot that exists in that airplane, the one that I'll be using, does not capture altitude. But I still want to be able to dial in the altitude quickly when I'm given an altitude by ATC. So I started uh, getting on the internet and trying to find one. I would even have taken just a, a used one. I just really wanted the thumb wheels to be able to dial in the altitude. And uh, I came across this product here. This is the Sky Buddy. On the, um, the right-hand side, you can see the altitude window. And on the left-hand side, it has heading. Now, I wasn't particularly looking for heading, but I can definite, definitely see where that would be very useful in a, in a uh, especially single pilot environment, but in uh, flying instrument flight rules, uh, you're given heading uh, assignments and altitude assignments all the time. And uh, I can definitely see where uh, heading assignments would be, uh, or the heading wheel would be particularly useful. And I think especially on the initial clearance where you're typically giving given a heading to fly after departure and a and an alt altitude. Uh, you can dial those in and they're there and as you take off a quick look will tell you will remind you what you have to do and and uh, and then you then you either turn the knob or make the heading bug um, move um, to the assigned heading. So I I came in last night kind of late. I know everybody likes unboxings, but uh, I couldn't wait to open it up. But essentially, this is the box that came in. That's uh, part number 2500. And there's the phone number if you want to pause it and uh, give them a call. Uh, it came with the unit and a user guide. The unit has uh, about a five long, five foot long uh, plug, which is um, either 12 volt or 24 volt. So uh, the uh, 310 has a 20, 24 volt system, so that should plug right in uh, and use the power, ship's power, but. Uh, it also plugs into 12 volts, so I think what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug it into the car and we'll test it out, see how it works. Um, I also ordered uh, this unit, this little piece right here, which is a mounting bracket. Uh, this, this unit is $24, kind of pricey, but um, uh, it allows you to screw the sky buddy into this bracket and then you um, either velcro this or attach it attach this bracket permanently to your aircraft and uh, and it, it uh, will just maybe sit on your panel or something and I have not determined how I'm going to mount this yet but um, if for nothing else, I wanted these this cutout, and I want uh, the the template from this cutout, so that I can um, 
permanently mounted on my panel at some point. Now, a word about that. This, this unit is only approved for temporary inst installations by the FAA. So, uh, if it were to be mounted permanently, you would need to get FAA field approval. Uh, as I understand it, P2 Aviation uh, is working on a STC model that will allow uh, for per permanent installation. I'm sure it'll be a lot more expensive than this unit, but um, that's not out yet, as far as I know. Um, the uh, the price on this unit. Here's the invoice, um, sales receipt, and uh, it's kind of expensive at three hundred dollars. Uh, and then with the uh, mounting bracket and shipping, of course, the total came out to about three hundred and thirty-six dollars and forty-five cents. So. Uh, a little expensive, um, but I am concerned about busting an altitude um, in an airplane, in the only airplane that I fly that doesn't have an altitude reminder. And uh, I, the last thing I want is to be flying around for fun in my own airplane and bust an altitude and have it affect my professional career. So um, I. I made the investment. I think it's worth every penny if it keeps me from ever getting violated. So uh, that's that's where I stand on that. Um, what, what I think I'll do now is I'll take it out to the uh, car and we'll plug plug it in and we'll uh, light it up and see how it works. All right, so I'm out at the car and uh, I have a 12 volt, you know, cigarette lighter, or and I'm just gonna put this in there is no on off button the that's given in the user's guide so essentially plugging this in will turn the unit on and uh, you get uh, this, this is P2 sky buddy comes up for a little bit and then it should transfer to um, four lines in each window there they go actually it says four lines but uh, the left window is three lines in a kind of a degree um, symbol and uh, it'll stay like that now until we uh, dial in altitude so let's let's dial in uh, there's a hundred feet 200 and if we go the other way nothing okay so let's dial in uh, on departure you're cleared to maintain uh, 4,000 feet and then uh, it's that easy uh, apparently if you go above 10,000 you can see it's every hundred here of uh, above 10 I think it changes yeah every it goes changes to 500 feet and then above 18 thousand it changes to 1,000 per click it is very nice um, and I think if you yeah so you can set whatever altitude you want and then let's go to heading and try that um, so there's 360 and off and then 005 020 and if you want degrees between 025 and 030 let's say you push the button and then you can dial in 27 28 29 and 30 and so on and uh, if you push it again it goes back to every five from where you pushed it so that can be kind of uh, annoying I think but uh, it should, in my opinion, it should go back to every five uh, from a cardinal heading. So I should, you know, um, this way you have to get back to 130 to push it to then go to 135, 140. Um, so that's kind of annoying, but uh, I think overall uh, the concept is fabulous. Um, I think it's going to work out great for me. Uh, it's exactly what I was looking for. Uh, now keep in mind, this 
this won't give you any warnings when you leave your altitude um, uh, or, the, or when you're approaching your altitude as a lot of these uh, altitude reminders will. It's simply a, a notepad with in digital form. That's, that's essentially all it is. And you, you're just writing down your altitude assignment and your heading assignment on this uh, rotary digital readout. Uh, but uh, as I said, I've been so used to using these in my uh, professional career that um, I've been sorely missing it. Uh, when I fly my uh, 310 so um, this will this will work out good next thing we'll do is we'll go out to the airplane and uh, uh, we'll kind of determine where we're gonna put it uh, temporarily uh, and at some point uh, we'll we'll either see if they're gonna get approval for the STC or whether uh, I have to go ahead on my own and try and get FAA field field approval for a permanent installation of this unit Hey guys, I'm out at the airplane now. Uh, it's uh, uh, about six o'clock in the evening, uh, getting dark already, and uh, I thought I'd uh, shoot a little quick video on where I would install this in the airplane. Here you see the P2 Sky Buddy. Um, I've got it. Uh, I've got it plugged into a 14 volt power source, and. Uh, I'm thinking, since this is only approved for temporary installation, I'm going to install it temporarily on a permanent mount for a Garmin 296 GPS. I don't have a Garmin 296 GPS. This was done by the previous owner. Uh, we have the STC for it, but uh, I don't. I don't currently use it, and um, I could secure it to this unit. Uh, secure the base. To this unit, then mount, mount it on the on the uh, on the bracket, and it wouldn't go anywhere. And I uh, I could then use it for a while and see see how it works out for me. I think it's going to be great, though. I think um, this is out of the way; it doesn't obstruct uh, vision at all. Um, it's a temporary installation. You just don't, you know just a uh, 14 volt power source and uh, I'd have to you know obviously clean up the wiring so make to make sure that the wiring doesn't get in the way but um, we're gonna we're gonna mount it here and we're gonna fly with it a little bit and we're gonna see how it works for us uh, but I think this is gonna be a great little uh, unit uh, I I'm not endorsing this product in any way uh, I'm giving you my opinion I don't get paid by PT uh, so um, you know, feel free to um, like or dislike, uh, but um, for my needs and for what the way I'm accustomed to flying, uh, this is this is very handy and very very much a, a, a necessary part of instrument flying. So uh, we'll uh, make an update to this uh, video in a few days, and um, or uh, maybe we'll give it six months. Of, of use and we'll uh, we'll let you know how it's gone and and uh, whether we still like it as, as much as we think we're going to like it uh, but uh, for now uh, that's it on the p2 sky buddy um, review uh, don't forget to comment uh, subscribe obviously uh, and and rate it like it or dislike it that uh, you know let me know what you think and uh We'll, we'll, you'll see it in, in use in flight uh, the next time we go up.